Hi everyone, Alex Roy here, your trusted realtor and home selling specialist in Portland, Oregon. Here with the first quarter of 2024 market report for Eastside Portland. Got a whole bunch of excellent numbers and market data to go over with you, so let's just jump right into it. All right, first, let's take a look at mortgage interest rates because those obviously have a big effect on how many homes are bought and sold at any given time in the year. Here we see uh, averages over the last couple of years. And as you can see, October 2023 saw the peak of mortgage interest rates. This stifled buyer activity as some buyers were priced right out of the market, couldn't afford homes based on the interest rates. Others felt it would be best to purchase when rates ease off a bit. The falling interest rate helped generate stronger sales in December, January, and February of this year over what it was at that time last year. Our next chart up is months of inventory. And remember that months of inventory refers to the number of months it would take for the current inventory of homes on the market to sell given the current sales pace. And as you can see, during the periods of sub 4% interest rates, the month's inventory was incredibly low, leading to multiple offer situations and very short market times. Today, even though there are fewer homes listed for sale per month, the decreased buyer pool means that there is generally less competition for homes than in previous years. And that certainly is good news for buyers out there. Here we see a graph with a bunch of data on it. This is total homes for sale, total new listings, and total pending sales. And so the past three months, December, January, and February, on average perform better than the same months a year ago. Pending sales are up, showing increased buyer activity. Currently, new listings appear to be trending similar to the previous year, but should have a stronger spring-summer if interest rates hold steady. Now let's take a look at days on market. Here with the average days on market, it's a good illustration of how the seasonal nature of real estate works. On average, homes will sit uh, on the market longer if listed in November, December, and January when buyer activity is low and unsold inventory builds up. 2023 saw a general increase in days on market. Over 2022, homes sitting around a little bit longer, buyers with less fear of missing out, and more time to shop and browse for homes. Now here's a chart that's really important to home sellers, the average sold price for Eastside Portland. After a steady fall in home sales prices in late 2022, prices stabilized through 2023. Lower interest rates gave December of last year some strong sales numbers. January's average fell, but it was far better than the previous January and February, which shows a continued slight increase in sales prices over the previous year. And then finally, sold price versus original uh, list price difference. You know, how many homes were selling for over their original list price? How many are selling under? Typical to the yearly housing cycle, the last two years saw a surge in buyer demand in the spring, which led to more homes being sold above their original list price. By November, sellers accepted offers below their original list price. Gone are the days of multiple offers driving up prices on the majority of sales. There's certainly still some out there, especially if a house is priced competitively low, you will get multiple offers bidding that up, but we are seeing more houses sticking around on the market a little bit longer, driving up that days on market, and then eventually reducing their price because they started too high and having that lower sold price versus the original list price. So there you go, there's our numbers for the first quarter of 2024, Really glad you tuned into that. And don't forget that if you're a home seller and you're thinking about listing your home, check out my home seller's guide that you can download right from the website or click the link uh, in the description below or the link in the bio to find that guide. Happy to send that to you. Whether you're gonna list it on your own or you're gonna be contacting me later to sell your home, loads of great information in this guide. And if you'd like a copy of today's market report, there's a PDF available for download on the site and in the description of the video. Have a great day. I'm Alex Roy, working hard for your success.